How's it everyone? This is Local Hole, and in today's video, we're going to be crafting a chaos dot bow for Corgi. Corgi has been a friend of mine in Path of Exile for a long, long time. So when he brought this to me, I said, absolutely, I'll do it for you. So the modifiers we're going for are going to be plus one level of socketed gems, and then generic dot, and then chaos dot, which comes from Hunter Influence. And then we're going to multi mod it to finish it off. So the first step we need to do is two. Spam this for generic damage over time. And if you're wondering why we're using a Maraketh bow, I checked with him. He's playing a Death's Oath build, so attacks per second don't actually matter. The movement speed is much more useful. So let's go for the damage over time. That is tier one damage over time, but we need to go for the Annul. So... We failed. That's tier four, tier five. Hey, there we go. It took 1,200 to see it again. But now the fun part is we need to annul Oh my god, dude, please. It's meant to be a 1 in 320, so that's why I'm not imprinting, but... It took me 1,200 to see it a second time after failing that first and all, so... Ugh, maybe we do imprint it next time. There we go. All right, we got it again, please. Yay. All right. Now, the fun thing is now we need to regal it and then annul whatever we regal. So, oh, thank goodness. We're safe. We're through it. We managed to do it. So now, what do we do next? Now the next step, actually pretty straightforward. What we're going to do, head over to the crafting bench. We're going to go, can I have up to three crafted modifiers? Like that. And then we're going to go, cannot roll attack modifiers. And now if we slam this, we are 100% guaranteed plus one level of socketed gems. Like that. And now if we want to get Chaos Dot, we can Hunter Exalted. If this did already have Hunter Influence and we Exalted it, we would still be getting Chaos Dot. But I'm only applying the Hunter Influence now to try and make the chance to get dot with the alt spamming a bit easier because there's fewer mods in the pool. But let's see, do we get a high tier? That is tier four. So let me just check with Corgi. Is he happy with tier four or do we keep trying? Okay, so Corgi is happy with this. If he wasn't, we could try and annul off the chaos dot and then slam it to try and get that mod again. But that would be risky, and if we failed, it would mean we'd basically have to restart. So if you're doing this yourself, and you want to try again, you can go for that and all. And then if you hit it, exalt it, and you will get Chaos Dot, but the tier is random. So now what do we do? We go remove crafted mods. Easy as pie. And then we're going to multi-mod it again. Three crafted mods. And then the final two mods are going to be Chaos Damage Over Time Multiplier. This is four Chaos Orbs. Dunk. And then the final mod is going to be level of socketed support gems. This is two exalts, which is actually very cheap now. So here is the bow. Very pretty. Plus one level of socketed gems. Tier four, chaos dot, sadly. Then we have tier one, generic dot. And then it has multi modded plus two level of socketed support gems and chaos damage over time multiplier. This is going to be a big, big upgrade for Corgi. Let's give it a quick price check and see what it's worth. With all these mods, about 5.57 divine. He gave me 11 divines to start with, and we went probably through about one divine worth of alts. So maybe you could have bought this for cheaper, but with six lengths, yeah, seven divine. So I wouldn't exactly call this a profit craft, but I think if you hit Tier 1, Chaos Dot, 
with that exalt or that hunter slam like this then that's when it would be a profitable profit craft i suppose but that is a bit of a gamble so i don't know it probably makes sense to do this yourself but if you want to buy it you're not going to be losing currency by buying one yourself so Thanks again to Corgi for this. This is a pretty fun craft. I know a lot of people are playing Chaos Dot builds. If you're playing like an attacky Chaos Dot build, maybe you want attack speed instead of Chaos Dot or something, but I don't know. Anyway, have a wonderful day, everyone. Stay safe, and I will catch you in the next video. All right, bye-bye. Exile, you're making me nervous.